Hello my beautiful Scorpios, it's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for March 29th, 2022. We're going to dive into the reading, see what's going on with your specific person and or any additional spiritual messages from your spirit guides, your trusted ancestors or your guardian angels. Okay, so here we go. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me for one second. <clears throat> All right. Rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number one. We could see the Magician card kick in, possibly any of the Aces. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with the Gemini for some of you. However, <clears throat> could be any Zodiac sign. Ooh, power of number ten. I'm picking up on the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. The energy is going back and forth between the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling uncertain about something. Somebody needs to, <clears throat> this Ten of Wands that I'm seeing in my mind's eye. You could have too many irons in the fire right now, Scorpio. Could be time to reevaluate your goals. Or somebody's doing too much for their family, like taking on too much responsibility of certain family members and is really having a hard time setting boundaries. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody's having a hard time setting boundaries. Picking up on cousin cousin or cousins, stepmother, mother-in-law, father energy. I heard the term problem resolver, where these people need to take full responsibility for their actions. Somebody thinks you're weak, Scorpio. Saw the word weak. Trash. Somebody said trash. Either taking out the trash or somebody thinks you're trash because you stood up for yourself for something in particular. Huh. Wow. Somebody's Family member says, I'm not giving her nothing. Somebody's shaking their head. Tears, I'm picking up the phrase verbal abuse. Strain, heard the word strain. I don't know, somebody strained a calf muscle. Somebody's got lower back pain. Picking up tightness in the neck area. Hmm. Power of number 10 again. Well, you know, 10s represent an end of a cycle, you guys. Looks like we are going to the power of number 21. And there's no coincidence with that. 1, 10, 10. You add all that up, brings it to the number 21. What is 21 in tarot? The world card. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio. Heard the word jealousy again. Hatred. Wow, 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 wow.
too much time on social media or not utilizing it to your greatest advantage. Some spirit said something like serving a higher purpose or you feel like you're meant to serve a higher purpose in this lifetime, Scorpio. Something about a raccoon. You may be having suspicions that somebody's a thief. Or somebody gets raccoons in their backyard. Picking up and seeing the imagery of the squirrel. Something about preparation. Preparing for something. World card. Family lineage. DNA testing. I'm picking up. Or some of you are thinking about doing something with genealogy. To really see where your roots are at. Where your trusted ancestor energy comes from. Heard the word Mediterranean. Some of you may be contemplating a Mediterranean diet or want to go to Greece. Picking up the Nile, something about Egypt. Somebody's researching on Egypt or wanting to take a trip there. Scooter. I don't know if somebody's kid has a scooter. Restlessness and picking up the kids are getting restless for the summer. Wanting to kick back. I heard kick back. Martial arts. Somebody's deciding to take martial arts class or is a martial artist or takes mixed martial arts. Kickboxing. Was it cage fighting or something? Hmm. Punching bag. World card. <clears throat> we'll find out. Power of number 21. What could be the endings of closing out cycles? As we're headed in more into the energy, because we would be eight days into the season of Aries, using your head, Scorpio, using your smarts, People around you don't know how brilliant and how intelligent you really are. Some of you never got recognition from your family. Maybe you've never been congratulated before from certain family members. Maybe you've been striving for approval from certain people. You don't need approval from anybody, Scorpio. The universe has got your back. There are good deeds, Scorpio, that you've done that not a lot of people know about. Some of these people in and around you, whether it's friends or family members, think you're selfish when that's not true. Power of number 21. Let's see what's going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, and 21. All right, let's see what's going on <clears throat> after all of that channeling. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is going on with the overall current energy for the day commencing for March 29th, 2022? Whether this be in regards to Scorpio specific person, any family members, friends, additional spiritual messages, whatever's going on in their environment or what they don't foresee coming. What is going on? The Empress. Okay, we're still technically in the month of March. Power of number three. You could be dealing with a Pisces and or an Aries throughout this month or because of the Empress, traditionally speaking, also is in representation of the sign of Taurus and Libra. Some of you could have found out that you're pregnant this month for some of you. <clears throat> or you will become pregnant this month or you became pregnant this month. For others of you, you're preparing for something big. Something here about growth and expansion. So whether you're a divine feminine Scorpio or a divine masculine Scorpio, there's some form of nurturing energy or somebody here is longing for their emperor and or their empress to come forward. A lot of you have chosen to level up throughout the month of March. I heard the phrase going for the gold. We'll have to see how this Empress energy is coming in because I was picking up on a lot of family. I was picking up on stepmother, mother, probably mother-in-law. <clears throat> I heard the word demanding. Mm. Maybe are you demanding on yourself, Scorpio? Have you gotten to the mental mindset of being too, like too much perfection? Perfection comes, perfection comes over time. Somebody could feel that they're not ready to have a new beginning. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, in regards to a business. Maybe you feel like you got to have every single duck in a row, but that's not true. You have to have some basics down in order to get, you know, kind of things up and running. But you don't need to have everything perfect. All you need to do is stay in your power. Some of you needed to stand up to a mother figure. Or some of you need to stand up to a mother figure. I heard the term rhythm and cycle. Some of you started gym memberships in the month of March. A lot of you are going to get serious about your body and your diet. Some of you could have given birth in the month of March for some of you. Don't let anybody knock you off your throne, Scorpio. You know, Scorpios can be exceptionally uh, empathic. You can be an empath. Somebody's family member or a friend said, oh, she thinks she's all that. Well, they don't know you. Some of them don't. Like I said, jealousy, picking up jealousy again. See how the Empress is coming in. <clears throat> There's that Ten of Wands I was talking about, you guys. Saw it in my mind's eye. Did I or did I not? Boom. Right there. Power of the numbers. Too many irons in the fire are taking on far too much responsibility for other people's actions. This could be about setting boundaries against Scorpio. Yeah, could definitely have to do with family. Hierophant. Some of you, it's taken years to stand up for yourself. And not to take bullshit from people. It's a very difficult thing for Scorpios. 
takes us time in the beginning. A lot of us Scorpios were raised, you know, quiet, possibly reserved, exceptionally religious. Could have been raised a particular way that you weren't supposed to talk to people like this or that. And just take a back seat for some of you guys to abuse. Mm. But on a business level here, goes back to what I said about having too many irons in the fire right now, right? I've been there. I've been there. Prepare. I just heard prepare your house. I don't know if there's unexpected guests coming or you're preparing to have a home-based business. Clear out the clutter. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Clear out the clutter. Get rid of stuff that just is just weighing heavy on you, Scorpio. Get rid of it. Do consignment. Sell it off on eBay. Whatever the case may be. Lift the load. Take the load off. You want to run a successful business from home, you got to be organized. And that takes time, takes dedication, devotion, and practice. Practice makes perfect. A lot of you are so exceptionally talented, and I've picked up on this energy numerous times before. A lot of you guys are so exceptionally talented and gifted in so many areas. A lot of you guys are like the jack of all trades. Jack of all, jack of all trades. You guys know how to do a lot of shit. But some of you might need to take your three top talents and work on those three and then start the process of elimination and see what you're going to be best known for. But some of you, you know, may be feeling overwhelmed because I'm seeing the seven of cups in my mind's eye right now. Some of you could be just overwhelmed right now with all of your ideas that you just don't know where to begin. What I'm hearing from spirit saying is, what are you most passionate about right now? And that's what you start in on. What makes you excited to put yourself out there with whatever it is that you have to offer, a product, a service, whatever the case may be. But in regards to family, somebody here has possibly a mother figure that is a burden. But I'm picking up more of the phrase narcissist. Not if a mother who is literally, physically cannot walk, anything of that nature, okay? I'm not picking up necessarily on a medical, major medical level, okay? What I'm picking up is the mentality. Could have been a mother figure that got in the way of your relationships or has gotten in the way of your prior relationships, Hearing the word destruction, I saw the tower card. The hermit. Some of you have gone silent, you've gone rogue. Maybe some of you haven't heard from certain family members in a while. Maybe that is giving you some kind of relief, Scorpio. If you feel like you've been taking on responsibilities of the family. A lot of you guys are just focusing in on your over the rainbow moment right now. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra throughout the month of September. Your specific person could view you as the emperor and or the empress. And whatever they got themselves involved with, if it was a third party, they found out that they had nothing but an uphill battle. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Some of you guys had to cut out somebody in particular or you had to cut out family members. There could have been choice and or sharp words between you and friends or certain family members. A lot of them didn't like how you stood up for yourself, Scorpio. 
Because a lot of you got tired of taking a backseat to their BS. Yeah. Going on the attack or the defense. Seven of Wands. Protecting your energy. A lot of these family members made you feel left out in the cold for some of them. This specific person could have made you feel left out in the cold, but I say they're getting backlash. I think they're feeling the burn, Scorpio, because I see a lot of you Scorpios, whether you're a male or female Scorpio, sitting up on your throne. And you're not going to budge. You're not going to allow people to walk all over you anymore. It's like I heard Spirit say, show them who's boss. Who's bossing up? A lot of you guys are going to be bossing up, and a lot of you are already doing it now. A lot of you are doing this in silence. Bossing up in silence. Mm -hmm. Message from the Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. You could have had to shut somebody up, Scorpio, because somebody was being a burden to you. And then there's information that is also being withheld. Somebody wants to say choice words, but they hold back. And that's probably because spirit has got your back and they're protecting you from certain people. You know who they are. Message from the hermit. Yeah, Queen of Wands, you're manifesting things behind the scenes, Scorpio. Not talking to a lot of people. And Spirit is saying, be patient because all of your success is on its way. You're the alchemist, creating an ebb and a flow. Like I said, your trusted ancestors have got your back and they're protecting you from ever whoever these people with a sharp tongue have got because they don't know any better. They're ignorant. A lot of them are ignorant. They don't know you. A lot of them really truly don't know you, nor your character, or what you're made of. Message from the Queen of Wands. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. I've got Aries, Leo, Sag. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's not to say that my water signs are not there. I got Piscean energy circulating right now through the Empress. I feel that there is somebody specific person that is also in this deep seated contemplation of how they chose the karmic over you. And there's a karmic here that is trying to dominate over somebody's specific person. Could be a mother figure. Like I said, that has tried to stop, block, or prevent your twin flame or your soulmate from coming forward. But a lot of this also has to straight up do with your person's personal choices. They've had nothing but an uphill battle. Some of them could be having a battle in their finances right now, they might be very frugal right now with their money for some of them. <clears throat> some of these mothers didn't want your specific person to level up either. A lot of them wanted the son or the daughter to remain attached to the hip. Not making them grow up. Three of Pentacles, third party situation. Yeah, it is, a, for some of it, it's about a third party, a mother figure who is a third party. Something about contracts. Could have threatened your specific person, because this could also be like inheritance a bit. So that they could have cut them off from their inheritance if they went to go be with you. Because the Queen of Swords is somebody who gabs, gossips, and whispers. This is from the Three of Pentacles. 
Some of these people cannot believe, Scorpio, how your wishes are being fulfilled. That there are people that actually do have your back, that are your personal cheerleaders. And these people behind the scenes, the ones that are throwing the negativity at you, hoping that you have nothing but an uphill battle for the rest of your life. A lot of them want you to suffer. And they're wondering how the hell you're getting your wishes fulfilled. It's because you've got integrity, Scorpio. That's why. And you do everything to your ability to be truthful and honest as best as possible. Message from the Empress. Because you're the shining star. And there's a lot of people who are not going to like this. Too bad, so sad for them. Your spirit guides and your trusted ancestors have been preparing you for major success in all areas of your life. Even if you're not going to be out there in the public eye, Scorpio, they're preparing you to have a great love in your life as well. Because you're all deserving of true love. Yeah, preparing you for your twin flame, your soul.